So, as some of you may be aware, all of the stories that you've seen in this Pauza training session have been based on actual incidents within the business. Yes, some creative license has been taken with the story and the locations, but every single scenario is based on fact. Now, they have been chosen for the simple reason that in every story there are several crucial points at which an accident could have been avoided if a Pauza had been used. Now, I'm sure you've had some interesting conversations about this film, but you must be feeling a bit short-changed at the moment. I mean, you have seen three stories, or with the possibility of an accident occurring, yet there's been no payoff, no gore, no fatality. Well, what's a health and safety training session without an accident? So I guess the question is, who do you think gets it? Charlie, what are you doing up there? Get down. You spoke of using ladders. I can't believe you're up there. You go straight through them boxes. Come here. Well, just give me that. What is it you're looking for? What's so important that you want to risk your life? Honestly, now, what do you think about that? A dangerous situation averted or a standard everyday occurrence interrupted? Hmm. Well, either way, I doubt that a slapped wrist and a bruised ego is the grand finale you were expecting. Well, don't worry. We still have another two chances to maim someone. That was a close call, wasn't it? No? You don't think so? Were the characters ever in real danger, I hear you ask? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. However, not the satisfying conclusion you imagined, is it? Well, with two down, it must be the next one then. Enjoy. Sorry, love. Yeah, it's a bit noisy in here. What did you say? It was at least five minutes before they found him. Now imagine that. Five minutes trapped under a train in searing pain. And it's not like it was resolved after five minutes either. That's just when they found him. The alarm was raised, 
and a call was put out for a first aider, and that's where I come in. I'd done the first aid course on a whim. You know, I thought it would be a good skill to have, that it might come in useful. But I'd never really thought about using it. And when the call came in, it was the furthest thing from my mind. Yep. OK, yep. All I knew was that someone was injured underneath a train on Road 9 and requiring medical assistance. An ambulance had been dispatched and was en route. The only thing running through my mind was that I needed to get there, quick. I wasn't thinking about what I'd do when I got there, even if there was something that I could do. I just had to get there. I suppose that contributed to what happened next. Additionally, you should also be aware that there's some site maintenance taking place today. The handrails are being repainted along the walkway, so access to stores is blocked and you'll need to follow the diversions. Did you remember that bit of information? No, neither did I. Watch this. I see the route is blocked. I see the sign for the diversion. And then, boom, I decide to ignore it. It took just five seconds to make that decision. Now, in my head, all I was focused on was getting to the scene of the accident as quickly as possible. I was trying to help someone, and I thought I was doing the right thing. Did I have a plan? Not really. I remember thinking I could get access to Nine Road by crossing the tracks, but I needed to be aware of any moving trains. Now this one was stationary, but I didn't know it was on the other side. I was so focused on what was round the corner, I wasn't concentrating on what I was doing. And that's when it happened. Severe cranial trauma is how they described it. A series of poor decisions, including one of my own, that resulted in one fatality. Mine. <laughs>